Alright guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. So today I've got your uh, Cassie Mendoza vendor reset video. I didn't do one last week because I, I was busy, but this week I thought I'd get to it. Um, and firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where the snitch is for me this week. And i got to pronounce that, it's for me, because it does vary from person to person. I did have to go to about five different locations uh, for where the snitch might be to actually find the snitch. So in this video I'm going to show you where the snitch is for me. And then we're obviously going to go over uh, where Cassie is, how you get to Cassie, depending on where she is. And then we'll go over the uh, the loot that's involved here with Cassie this week. There is one particularly good pickup that I pick up this week. Um, it's a shame it's a rainbow. We'll get to it. But yeah, I picked it up anyway because it, it really works well with skill builds. And I'm looking forward to using it on mine. So yeah, let's get to it, guys. So here we are at the snitch. So, okay, so this week we got the mechanical animal, which is the uh, named uh, variant of uh, the assault rifle. I can't, remember what, I can't remember what model it is. I've actually got one myself. And this was actually um, featured in yesterday's vendor reset. You can actually pick one of these up from the vendors this week as well. But Cassie does have it. It's got future perfection. It's got assault rifle damage, health damage, and damage targets out of cover. So overall, the roll's pretty good. Um, if you need the mechanical animal, I definitely worth picking this up. It's really good with a skill build. The build that I'm in at the moment, which is uh, five yellows, one red, uh, works really well when using technician um, because you can still proc overcharge uh, and, and you still get a red. So you can still do a little bit of kind of damage yourself, but you get a lot of damage from your skills also. Moving on, we got the sacrifice, which is the um, Providence named chess piece with perfect glass cannon. Uh, perfect glass cannon is. Really good talent, especially for skill builds. I don't actually have this um, at all, and so I'm probably going to pick this up. I, I am going to pick this up because I need a, a good... At the moment, I'm using Overwatch as my chess piece for my skill builds, which is good. Um, it, it can give you up to 12% uh, weapon damage and also 12% skill damage. But having this gives me 30% skill damage, and as I'm prim primarily in cover, then that's going to work. I'm just going to roll that core attribute away to a uh, skill tier. Then I've got skill damage, hazard protection, which isn't great, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I, I think this will work pretty well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about picking this piece up. And this is definitely worth picking up if you've got a skill build and you want that. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anything else that can give you that kind of extra 30% uh, damage just for, for doing nothing, just as a talent. You've got to be careful, though, that you don't get caught out because you will go down very quickly with this uh, where you're taking an extra 60% extra damage. Uh, in terms of the backpack, we've got tip of the spear with weapon damage and crit chance. I, I do think, um, just kind of on, a, on another vein, I do think tip of the spear needs uh, to be addressed. I, I just don't see anyone really using it. I, I really, I can't see the benefit of it. 10% signature weapon damage is, is tiny, um, and signature weapons generally just aren't that powerful anyway. Um, no one uses this that I know of, and, and I really think this needs to be kind of looked into. But if you do want a tip of the spear backpack, then yeah, you can pick it up if you want to. Uh, Eclipse Protocol chest piece. Eclipse Protocol is still one of the best uh, pieces in the game right now. Status effects are really strong. Skill builds generally are really strong in the game. That's all I pretty much run at the moment is um, skill builds. I'm working on a Hunter's Fury build, but I just don't like it as much as skill builds. I really just don't. Um, but yeah, that's there for you. And, and you can also pick up the gloves as well, which has got skill damage, which is nice. So those two go hand in hand. And obviously, as you can see from the uh, chest piece of this uh, Eclipse Protocol, uh, I believe uh, it wasn't this was buffed. I, I believe the actual backpack was buffed. Um, but this um, increases indirect transmission range from 10 to 50 meters and refreshes percentage from 50 to 75%. This is really good with something like uh, the Firestarter Cam Launcher. Tip of the spear knee pads, as I said before. Really needs to be reworked, but it's got weapon damage and crit damage. Uh, future initiative uh, holster with skill tier and uh, a red attribute. Mm, at the end of the day, just because because they've only got one attribute, then you really can just pick up any of these and, and get what you want. Uh, future initiative does work with this, of course. Aces and eights um, 
mask. We've got weapon damage and crit damage. You know, that, that's actually quite a good piece. Uh, probably worth picking that up, to be honest, if you're in, in need of uh, in need of a, a Aces and Ace mask. We've got the Carbine 7 weapon with max rate of fire, which I actually need on my uh, assault rifles. So, yeah, I'm going to pick that up as well, uh, just for the recal library, that is. It's got assault rifle damage and health damage, and it's got overflowing. Every three reloads from empty increases your base magazine capacity by 100%. Not a particularly good talent, to be honest. Um, every free reload is ridiculous. I think it should be every reload or every one reload, uh, personally, just to make it a lot stronger. Uh, but overall, not the not the best piece. Uh, lightweight M4 with max rifle rate uh, damage, max crit damage, and then crit chance with strained. So this is actually good. Uh, this is a good roll because you could run a, a rifle crit damage build and you can pull out some serious damage. And this would go a long way to that. Uh, it's a shame that the lightweight M4 generally isn't a, a great rifle overall, but this could work out. And obviously, if you're in need of max rifle damage or in need of crit damage, max crit damage on rifles for your recal library, this is going to be worth picking up. We've got the Overlord Chest Beef with Empathetic Resolve. It's got weapon damage, weapon hand, and explosive resistance. Um, yeah, not really worth picking up, if I'm honest, guys. That's not a particularly good one at all. we got a Providence Mask with weapon damage, headshot damage, and status effects. Uh, that's a shame, actually, that status effects is on there. That could have been a, a, a full red roll provenance mask, which is always good. The weapon damage is good. The headshot damage is good. It's just the status effects that really kind of let this down. And that's a... Yeah, that's that's a real shame, actually. Uh, we then got a 10.6% skill haste mod. And we've got an 8.8% scan range mod as well. So, yeah, that's it, really, for today's um, Cassie uh, video. Uh, as I said at the start, the, the where Cassie is or where you know the snitch is will be different for everyone. Ultimately, this week the best pickup is probably going to be the sacrifice. Um, I I know that I've picked up a few that I've just had really horrible rolls. This isn't the best roll either. It's a, you know it's a rainbow roll, uh, Providence defense, but you know it does have skill damage, which uh, goes a long way. It has a protection is not great. Uh, I'll roll that weapon damage away. And then, of course, Mechanical Animal is a good pickup. You can pick this up from the vendors anyway this week, but this is a good pickup because it does have damage to targets out of cover. And actually, let me just quickly check mine. Um, what does mine have? Mine has rate of fire, health damage, and assault rifle damage. I think... Uh, I'm wondering if... Damage to targets out of cover... Well, damage to targets out of cover will be better than the rate of fire, but I will be losing 7% health damage... I don't know. I might pick this one up, guys. I'll have to test it out. Uh, so I probably will pick this one up to test it out. But overall, that's it for today's video. Uh, if there is a state of the game later on, then I will be covering it. But at the moment, the devs have not said either way. So I'm going to presume it is cancelled. And if it is, then I'll probably have a video coming tomorrow or possibly Friday. Thanks very much for all your support, guys. And until the next one, epic out.